This stems from a board meeting with the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute earlier this week. A finance committee disclosed the anticipated $600,000 budget shortfall. And now both sides, City Council and the Civil Rights Institute, are trying to figure out where to go from this next. In front of a handful of Birmingham City Councilors, staff from the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute explained exactly why they're facing a financial problem. The issue, an anticipated deficit of $600,000. The board chair explained. Uh, there was a trigger about two years ago. We lost our largest fundraiser, the Fred Shuttlesworth Award and which caused the immediate deficit. The BCRI's president and CEO said that the fundraiser generated about 300,000 annually. Counselors questioned the plan moving forward and if they've reached out for additional donors and grants. The special called meeting, a conversation city councilor Stephen Hoyt believed could have been handled in a different way. And it's a bit embarrassing that, you know, one of the top civil rights museum in the country yeah had to be brought here about a budget shortfall. I really don't like that. Counselors acknowledge they've helped organizations in similar situations before. Still, counselors left hopeful they can find the right solution for an iconic institution. The city of Birmingham, being the mayor and the council, will make sure that the Civil Rights Institute stays viable for the next hundred years plus. Oh, you're speaking my language. Okay. Council President Parker did leave that meeting saying both sides, the BCRI and City Council, have homework to do as far as figuring out what that next step is. And we did reach out to the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute for further comment, and we're waiting to hear back. In Birmingham, Mary O'Connell, WVTM 13.